Hello, everybody. Lindy Waters III closed out this game in style with a huge clutch three to complete the comeback win. I don't know if this play seemed familiar, but it was in fact the same play that Steve Kerr used in the Olympics for Steph Curry and Devin Booker, which ended up with one of the biggest shots of the Olympics. So let's set this up. We've got LeBron James inbounding over here, Booker, Steph, Joel Embiid. This play is going to start with Steph setting a screen for Booker, but then Booker's going to turn right around and set a screen for Steph. So as the play unfolds, you see Booker curl around and come back to set this back screen on Steph's man. When the play runs properly, then Steph is going to pop out here, a screen from Booker there, and Joel Embiid's second screener. So there'll be this whole wall here stopping defenders from coming out to help on Steph. In this particular play, Bojan Bogdanovic here just grabs Steph, singing, I'm never going to let you go. I'm going to hold you in my arms forever. Booker's still here gamely trying to set this screen for Steph, but Bogdanovic here continues to hug Steph and say, don't be a fool. Booker can never give you the love that I can. And so Steph says, fine, he's not letting go. I'm just going to cut away. And Booker, you end up popping out. Steph brings one man. He screens Booker's man with his buttocks. Booker pops out. And then LeBron hits him cleanly with the pass. And that was a huge part of the USA coming back against Serbia in that amazing semifinal Olympics game. Okay, so now back to today. We've got Beekman inbounding on the side. And again, we've got three guys, Quinton Post, Lindy Waters III, and Guy Santos all lined up. Guy Santos is going to fake taking the screen, but then he's going to turn around and set a back screen on Lindy Waters' defender. So there's a turnaround. Surprise, here comes a back screen. And then Lindy Waters is going to be the person to pop out. And this play works beautifully because this is not the Serbian Olympic team, one of the best Olympic teams ever. Uh, it's uh, three guys who probably haven't ever played together. Uh, e Santos does a great screen on Lindy Waters' defender and also his own man coming over to maybe switch out to Lindy Waters. Quinton Post is setting an important screen here so that his defender can't reach out and contest Reese Beekman with the on-time delivery. It is from the side logo, but Lindy Waters does have range and kabang. While we're here, I guess we might as well carry out a celebration audit. First thing to notice is Reese Beekman over here. He is inbounding. I don't know who this guy is on the Clippers bench, but I think he is yelling in Beekman's ear. And a lot of these people are yelling. So as the shot goes up, Beekman with a very nice premature celebration. That ball is nowhere close to the basket. I think it's here. And he's already got his three up here. As it goes through, he turns his head and looks straight at the whole bench. He flows his three celebration into a what do you expect hand motion. Nice. Oh yeah, he's really uh, he's really giving them a full dose of his uh, told you so. Nice. Here's Lindy Waters. Let's see who's the first one to get to him. It's this shadowy figure here. Steph still showing the wiles of the Hall of Famer. Somehow he gets to Lindy Waters first. Buddy Heald getting here pretty well. He doesn't let the, the Jedi towel get in his way. Kevin Knox flying in, showing a lot of hustle. You can see he really wants to make the roster. Lots of people, oh, I like Blake Hinson getting in there. He's a long shot to make the roster, but not a long shot to get in the celebration. Okay, uh, usually when you see flying figures and celebrations, it's Gary Payton. And it is Gary Payton. All right, so Gary Payton got some extra hang time there by climbing on Guy Santos. Uh, if you see Guy Santos on the injury report with a strained neck, we're going to know who to blame. Okay, Trace Jackson Davis pointing the finger in the I'm going to give you a lecture formation. It's time for us to crank up our advanced lip reading technology. And Trace says, I told you, let's go Poke Bowl. Good idea, Trace. While you're in Hawaii for training camp, why not take advantage of Poke Bowls, one of Hawaii's specialty foods, lots of healthy ingredients, plenty of omega-3 fatty acids, and absolutely delicious.
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you didn't enjoy this video, I promise I'll do better next time.